I'm going to do another oracle card reading today um, with a deck that is like the brother or the sister deck to um, the one that I posted yesterday. So yesterday was the Affirmators at Work deck and today is the Affirmators Family deck. Um, so I thought it would be quite nice to do a sequence of them, so to do one from the different deck today. <clears throat> this is a deck I've had for a while um and um it was bought for me as a gift and it's the deck that then kind of encouraged me to actually explore and buy the other decks so now that i have one of each of their decks um so the question i'm going to ask for us here today is how can i improve the um, relationship between me and my sister and if you don't have a sister, you can substitute it for your brother, perhaps, or your soul sister. Um, so, you know, kind of like whatever works for you in that instance can, can work just as well here. Um, you just might have to kind of like tweak the reading slightly. So, okay. So the card that came out is loving words. So already that card, this card kind of makes us smile. It's like we look at the picture and it's just really cute. Um, you know, we've got like two little armadillos and one is like a boy armadillo and the other one is a girl armadillo. And they look like, they look like they've had a falling out. And the girl looks really upset. She looks like she's about to cry. She looks really downhearted, um, really disappointed. And the boy is like kind of a typical boy with his like silly, jokey, laughy, um, kind of almost like sports mentality. Yeah, you know, and like kind of, well, it's like, come on, let's pick ourselves up. Let's, let's try again. And, and next time we'll do better. It's that kind of like sporting mentality of like kind of like, He's trying to coach her like, um, to, to encourage her to make things up and try, let's try again. So maybe they played a game and they had a falling out and he did something silly and she hurt herself and now he's trying to like kind of like coax her and coach her into um, allowing him, him to try again. And the, 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 um, basically the, the, the word focus here is loving words. So before I read kind of like what it says and the card has to say to us, um, I think the word loving words is um, really evocative anyway in and of itself. Um, I think a lot of the time we take the people in our family for granted. Um, we, you know, we presume that, that because we're related they will always be there. And maybe we think that because we're related and we've grown up with them, you know, with a sibling and we've, you know, we've come from like childhood infancy upwards with them and so we've had our quarrels we had our fights we've been able to talk openly and honestly with them for a lot of the time and um when we grow into adults maybe we don't really grow into adults with our relationships with our siblings and so perhaps there aren't enough loving words perhaps there isn't enough kindness or respect perhaps we don't just pick up the phone and phone them or text them just because um, you know we give loving words to our children hopefully we give loving words to our pets we give if we're in a good relationship loving words to our partner but do we give loving words to our siblings um, and if we do how often do we do that is it just on their birthday is it just at Christmas or is it on a regular basis. So this card is encouraging us to, no matter what has gone on in the past, no matter you know how much hurt there has been, how much betrayal, how much um, anger there is between you, um, you know the bad comments, the bad actions, um, 
you know, we, we've all had our fair share of, of arguments and fallings out um, with the people that we've grown up with, with the people who are in our family. That's just the nature of things. You can't, you can't go from being, you know, a baby to a teenager and then an adult. You can't, you can't grow through those phases without facing some challenges and having some conflicts because that's all part and parcel of forming your identity and um, learning how to have an opinion and then to stand up for that opinion if you believe in it, um, even if it means that things might be a little bit difficult or challenging for a time. And on the other end of that, it's about understanding that our opinion might be different to their opinion on a subject. We might have a completely different perspective. And it's, it's learning how to, how to accommodate that and how not to be offended by it. And I think a lot of the time um, we tend to, to lose closeness in relationships because of misunderstandings. And maybe with a friend we would have cleared the air and things would have been okay because we could have spoken more honestly and openly about what had gone on. Um, and maybe with a friend too, if that hadn't happened, if we hadn't been able to do that, we would have grown apart, you know, we would have fallen out and that friend would no longer be in our life, so they wouldn't still be haunting us and hurting us. But with siblings with, and with family in general, um, it's not as simple as that. It's like when there's been a misunderstanding and then time goes by and that misunderstanding isn't repaired and the conversations that have been had in between aren't open or honest enough so that the issue is never really discussed. And when we try, we you know, when we attempt to discuss it, we're shut down because they, they, the other person isn't able to um, hold space for and accommodate that degree of honesty because for them it makes them feel too vulnerable and too raw and maybe they're insecure about their own opinions um, or maybe they have too much anger and rage inside still or too much hurt because you know we all have childhood wounds that get triggered um, so it can be really difficult and we can not completely fall out because we're always related but we the distance can come between and maybe we don't speak often enough and maybe we don't speak very often at all maybe we haven't spoken to him for several years you know all of these things can happen and this card is just it's kind of saying you know if these things have happened to you and if you want to tr to try to do something to remedy the situation in your relationship with your sister or brother or soul sister then a starting place could be loving words because loving words break down barriers. Loving words open up a space where the other person can feel safe. They can let down their guard. They can maybe trust and open up um, and, and reveal some of what's going on for them in their heart. Um, you know, the loving words can, can hold us comfortably you know like like a baby being cradled the loving words kind of give us that sense of security a, a sense of being seen and heard and respected um and, and and so it's like a bridge it's a bridge from from where you are right now to where you want to be and the loving words can help you walk along across that bridge and then you, but at the time that you're offering those loving words, you need to hold space with those loving words. So it's not just one loving word or two loving words, it's continuing with those loving words, no matter what comes back at you. Yeah, so you're always acting from a higher place. No matter what they say, no matter how they react, it's like just be loving in response. I hear you, I honor you. Um, I'm really sorry you felt like that. Um, how can I help? What can I do? How can we remedy this situation? Um, you know, and, and just, be, just be sensitive and be kind and compassionate um, and, and, and be still. So think before you speak. Um, don't just rush in. Um, take your time and, um, and, and really kind of like try and say what, what you think would be the best thing for them, what would help them the most. Um, and then see what happens and kind of water it with loving words and watch it grow. Um, 
and, and you know, the more loving words that you put in, and it might take time, you know, it might take a long time, but the more that you put in, just little seeds, gently planting these little seeds, over time they will grow. And when they grow, that other person will then be able to turn around and talk to you and maybe offer some loving words back. So this card is loving words. And then the actual writing of the card says, I can think of something kind to say about any and all of my relatives. And I dole those loving words out left and right. From what a nice dress to what courageous musical taste, I'm sharing them freely. If I don't, I'm depriving great people of hearing nice compliments. And also, I might not get as good a gift from them this year. So it's a bit of a jokey kind of like comment underneath. But it basically it's saying, you know, you, you can think of something nice to say about everybody. And you, can, and you can give those words out, yeah? It's like, we can, say, we can say something nice about everybody we meet. We can find something about them that we can compliment them on. Um, whether it's a quality in them, or, or whether it's a behavior they exhibit, um, or whether it's, you know, we might like the way they treat their children, we might like the fact that they go to church, we might love their top, we might respect their choice in food and nutrition. Um, we might really respect what they do for work. Um, we might think they're a beautiful friend. Um, you know, there were lots of different things that we can, we can focus on that aren't personal or about us that we can give out to that person and um, encourage them. And the more that we can do that for them, we're gifting them with good feeling, good vibes, good energy. And then hopefully, the more that we put those good vibes in, the more that will kind of like dilute what has come before and the energy that was attached to that. And regardless of whether it was our fault or their fault, um, you know, it can, it can dissolve and evaporate away. And then in the space that's left, then something new can grow. And maybe they can then be nice back and maybe you can come, be, you know, draw closer and maybe then the honest conversations can be had. Or maybe you just start from there and you work forward and you don't have to go back or you don't have to talk about it, but you, but you have to be honest from, from that point onwards. But it's a place to start. Um, and, and, you know, it, it ends with saying, you know, I'm, if I don't, I'm depriving people of hearing nice compliments and also I might not get as good a gift from them this year. And that's kind of a way of saying that, you know, the more that you can compliment other people, the more likely it is that those things will come back to you and maybe the compliment won't come back from that person but it might come back from another person because it's like, you know, energy is about an even exchange. So if you're putting good out all the time with everything that you say and everything that you do, then you're more likely to get that reflected back to you from your interactions in the universe because it's like what you, what you put out there is what you in turn attract. So just try and remember that if you can as well to motivate you, to help you, um, especially if it's a, little, a difficult situation and you're still hurt and wounded and um, you don't feel like saying nice words. <laughs> you know, we don't always feel like saying nice words to these people that we've fallen out with, do we? But if we're related by blood, um, you know, if we're, if we're family, if we grow up together, then maybe it's worth trying um, it really depends on whether you believe that your family that you're born to is your family and they're all you've got and they're really important or perhaps you've realized that you know you don't have much in common and when you come together it's painful and um, you're not supported and you're not respected and you go away wounded and then maybe you you have you know ventured out and, and formed your own family of other people who aren't related to you. And then if that's the case, then that's the right decision for you. Um, and then just focus on the loving words that you can pour into that family. And maybe the loving words that you can say about your real family in conversation to the people in your current life family. Um, so that, you know, instead of creating bad energy, bad feelings, bad emotions within you, within your heart and your body, um, things that will then get stuck in your liver 
um, you're, you're, you're putting out a good energy and a good vibe. Um, and even if it's not true what you're saying about them, if it's like if you say it often enough, you can convince yourself and you can start to believe it. And that's when you'll free yourself and that's when you can heal yourself from those things. So there are lots of different ways that you can work to, to resolve these situations or ease the pain attached to these situations. Um, improve you know, the, the interchange between these relationships and these situations. Um, and this card is just like a starting point and it's a little, a little gentle nudge and it just says loving words. So take that, that thought, take the image, take the little picture and um, see where you can go with it. Think outside the box, be creative. I hope you enjoyed that reading. Um, I will see you back here very soon. Um, I'll take you through the other decks from this series as well. Um, and if you have any questions, if you'd like to ask a question of your own, then please do send that in. I have a, um, a love deck for the affirmators, so maybe you have a love question that you would like to ask. Um, and if you do, and if there's more than one, then maybe I'll do several different readings for the loved ones, because that's often the most popular subject. Um, I hope to see you back here soon. Please subscribe to my channel if you enjoy watching it. Um, please like this video if you enjoyed it. Um, those things really matter to me. I really um, find it really encouraging. And also it all, all supports this um, channel and helps more people to find it, more people to watch. So um, yeah, that would mean a lot to me. Thank you. Um, and if you'd like to know more about me and what I do, please do visit my website, lemonrosepetals.com or on my Instagram page, lemonrosepetals or both. Um, and on my website um, and on my Instagram in the bio, you can find out more about me and more different ways to, to reach me. Um, so I will see you back here next time. Bye.